Good morning. Good morning. My, my name, name is Brenda Julina Pineda Galdis. Today I will present a research entitled Analysis of the Placement of Organic Salt, used as catalyzed in the upgrading of crude oil in steam injection processes. This research was carried out together with my colleagues Sergio Fernando Castellano, directed by Dr. Adam Leon and co-directed by the Master Paola Leon and the engineer Luis Miguel Salas Chia. To begin with, I will talk about brief introduction of the topic, followed by the problem statement and mechanisms, and finally the conclusions. Currently, the geological zones that produce growth oil in Colombia are distributed in 20 departments, and according to the API gravity, they can be classified into light, medium, and heavy crude. It should be clarified that the largest research in Colombia are centered in heavy crude. Light crudes have an approximate API gravity from 33 to 33.9. Medium crude has an approximate API gravity from 22 to 22.9. And finally, heavy crude has an approximate API gravity from 10 to 21.9. Therefore, this implies that the oil industry needs to develop more efficient enhanced oil recovery methods, such as steam injection. This process has great potential and is also commonly used in the heavy oil field, since it is a process that generates an increase in temperature. I mean, a hot fluid is injected to transfer thermal energy to the crude in order to reduce viscosity. This process gives rise to reaction now as a hemolysis. This reaction involves physical chemical mechanisms in the crude oil. Since increasing the temperature generates change in both its molecular and physical structure. The physical change that can be evidenced from this thermal increase is the decrease in viscosity. The most significant change are generated in the heavy crude as shown in the figures, with a decrease in viscosity of approximately 8,800 centipoids to 350 centipoids, and the light crude presents a chain of approximately 100 to 15 centipoids. The quaternolysis reaction can be improved by uh, adding a catalyst since it reduces the activation energy. Breaking bonds such uh, as carbon sulfur, carbon carbon, carbon oxygen, and a carbon nitrogen. When a catalyst is added to the process, the reaction are now as catalyzed a quaternolysis. The most commonly used precursor for the catalyst are cobalt, copper, iron, molybdenum, nickel, and others. The mechanism commonly used to add the catalyst to the crude oil is the direct method. But what can happen if another type of mechanism is used? The student research usually focus on the crude oil and the catalyst to be used, to play the importance of the mechanisms that allow to place the chemical compound, I mean the catalyst. For this reason, the need arises to carry out a bibliographic review that compiles the different alternatives that are available to add catalysis in heavy crude oil in those and analyze the different results obtained by those authors. In order to carry out this research, the main source of information you said were the databases observed on the screen, for example, Juan Petro, Science Direct, and others, since they are the ones that have more information regarding the subject to be treated. In this review, three selection criteria were taken into account for the investigation discussed, involving a quaternolysis reaction using organic salts to improve the process, and then finally, including experimental, uh, experimental tests, since in this way the effects of the chemical agent can be visualized.
In heavy crude upgrading, three main placement mechanisms were identified. Direct, uh, direct application, by emulsion, and carrier substance. In addition, it was observed that the most important metals are iron and molybdenum due to their high efficacy. Representative study of age of the aforementioned mechanisms are shown below. Direct application. This mechanism consists of dispersing the chemical agent directly on the substance to be treated. In a steam injection, it can be applied before, during, or after the injection. The recovery, the recovery factor will depend on how soluble the chemical agent is in the hydrocarbon and the capacity it has to be distributed. In this table, we can observe the authors of different studies, the catalyzed usage, the operational parameters, and the change in viscosity report. The author won in 2010 used as catalyzed iron and aromatic molybdenum sulfonate, a temperature of 200 degrees Celsius, a pressure of 435.11 psi. The reaction time was at 24 hours, and when comparing the two catalyzed used, I mean iron and molybdenum obtained that the catalyzed from molybdenum showed better result, uh, results in this cosine. Unlike one Jian Li in his research, uh, you said catalyzed from copper and iron, the operational parameters uh, were similar to the first and obtained favorable results in the viscosity of 194 0.66% and 94.96%. And finally, the author Nunez used iron naphthene and molybdenum naphthene, varying uh, the operational parameters, in this case, increasing the temperature, uh, pressure, and time. Although he did, did not uh, obtain the same results as the other outdoors, it is still a favorable percentage for this type of process. An emulsion is a mixture of two or more immiscible liquids where one of them is immersed in the other. Usually, the substances are thermodynamical unstable due to their low solubility. In order to establish the emulsion, chemical agents now and surfactants are used. In this table, we can see the authors of various studies, the catalyzed used, the type of emulsion, the surfactant used, the operational parameters, and the change in viscosity report. Calaraga and colleagues in their research used a catalyzed composite of three metals, nickel, tungsten, and molybdenum, introduced it in direct emulsion at 700 revolution per minute. Also, applied a surfactant for the stabilization of emulsion now as span 80. The temperature used was 380 degrees Celsius, a pressure of 500.38 psi, and reaction time of 8 hours. For this condition, obtained a percentage improvement in the viscosity of 99. The next author, Jeletsky, used catalyzed based on potassium, iron, nickel, and molybdenum. On the contrary to the previous author, Jeletsky used an inverse emulsion at 24,000 revolution per minute. The operational parameters varied as shown in the table and finally obtained an improvement uh, in viscosity of 82%. The carrier substances are those that have the ability to dissolve, displace, deposit the desired chemical agent to the crude oil. This can be soluble, subclassified as water soluble and no water soluble, 
or can be present as suspend solids. The substance must be compatible with different fluids and have the capacity to efficiently transport the chemical agents. In this table, we can observe the author of various studies, the catalyzed used, the carrier substance implement, uh, the solubility in the oil, the operational parameters, and the change in viscosity, in viscosity report. As in the other investigation in this review, the authors used catalyzed from iron, copper, and nickel, since they are the compounds with the best properties for the chemical agent. The substance used for the ease of transporting the catalyst were propanol in the presence of water, cyclical counts, and tetraline. The operational parameters were similar, and the best results one was obtained from the catalyst based on nickel and cobalt salt. In conclusion, in the different studies, a reduction in viscosity was evidenced in the replacement media used, highlighting a range in the decrease from 31.4% to 99%. According to the result obtained by the different authors, it is observed that on average, the direct placement method reports below viscosity reduction percentage. Another uh, conclusion is Studies associated with the use of placement media other than direct has increased due to the search for new ways to increase the recovery factor in crude oil, decreasing operating cost. This improvement of crude oil generates interest, uh, generates interest in the scientific community due to the potential it represents. Finally, all the authors were able to demonstrate that the crude oil is really positive affect by the injection of steam with the add addiction of catalyzed. Therefore, it is important not only to take a literature review of the subject, but on the contrary, to put into practice age of the process mentioned in the, liter in the literature Therefore, a thesis is being carried out on the subject exposed. On finish, it will be possible to compare and analyze which are the most ideal methods so that the crude oil can decrease its viscosity and in turn can be extracted more easily, avoiding both economic and um, environmental uh, problems. Finally, we would like to thank the Recovery Mejorado Group for all the tools and support provided, especially our co-director and director for their guidance and patience uh, throughout the research process. We would also like to thank the Universidad Industrial de Santander and Eurasia Research for allowing all this to be possible. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, we remain attentive to any question regarding the presentation.